Now let's invite uh, Dr. Mike Balcom. Okay, I'm gonna seize a moment in between the salad and the main course to have your attention. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am uh, Michael Balcom. I'm the European Chair of UPF. And I'm really glad to greet you this afternoon. Thank you so much for coming. About 15 years ago, I had the privilege to be at the Lincoln Center in New York uh, when Dr. Moon and Mother Moon founded the Universal Peace Federation. And I always remember what he said on that day. He said, there's really no hope for peace until the people who have the responsibility for peace find it within themselves. You can't make peace in the world unless peace starts with me. And for the last 15 years, uh, a big portion of UPF's work has been encouraging people to find that peace within themselves and with their neighbors and their families. And Margaret asked me to say a few words about what's been happening on the global scale just in the last six weeks. So I have a few slides to show you about the UPF Founders Tour in the last six weeks, just to give you an idea of the scale of some of the international projects. This is the summit in Nagoya, Japan. Uh, the, here we see our founder, Mother Moon, speaking to a group of two or three hundred parliamentarians from Japan, a very major program there, but uh, including the religious leaders as well as the political leaders and a truly enormous program at the Sky Arena. And I mentioned Japan and Korea together because there's a big problem. These two nations should be the best of friends. They're allies, and they have been allies for 40 or 50 years. But as you may know, in the last year, there's been a tremendous deterioration of relations between these two countries. And one of UPS initiatives in Asia is to try to get them back to the table to talk together. Some of you may know the Little Angels. It's one of the uh, beautiful artistic and cultural programs founded by the Moons maybe 50 years ago now. At the top, you'll see that one of the features of this program uh, in Korea is this marriage rededication program. And what you need to know about these couples, in each case, one of the spouses is Korean and the other is Japanese. So they are living by example uh, the principle that love can conquer all borders. Uh, moving on, and this is just uh, two weeks ago in Cambodia, uh, Mother Moon here meeting with the Prime Minister Hun Sen. If you're my age, you remember Cambodia as the country of the killing fields and the genocide that took place just over a generation ago. You might ask, well, what is UPF doing there today? Uh, the truth is that um, there's a lot of unfinished business in Cambodia. So many uh, problems still existing between the different groups of society. We move on to Taiwan, uh, and this is another pro program, the launch of the Chinese People's Federation for World Peace. Whenever you see those words, Federation for World Peace, you can be pretty sure it's associated with UPF. We have a lot of them, the Women's Federation, the youth and students. The Moon had this insight. There are Chinese people now living all over the world, bound by ties of culture and language. What if they could really come together and work to serve? It would be a tremendous initiative. Here she is sounding the, uh, the peace gong. I'll move on uh, uh, from that program in Taiwan. You can see these are pretty large programs. I mean, we have a nice program here today. But I have news for you. We're planning something much bigger here in Yay. Britain. Uh, this was in Niger just a week ago at, in Niamey, the, the capital. It was the, this year's African summit, uh, co-hosted by the president of uh, sitting there on the right, uh, gathering together not just the parliamentarians, but the traditional leaders, religious leaders as well. Of course, uh, Niger is 99.5% a Muslim country. So it was a real opportunity for UPF to demonstrate its um, core principle of the unity and brotherhood of all faiths. Uh, this was uh, the prime minister sitting there to, to the right. And again, there was a marriage uh, rededication ceremony. 
And then closer to home, although a little further away, some of you were in Albania last month when we had our Southeast Europe Peace Summit. Anybody here made it there? Thank you for coming to support our program in uh, Albania. It was really tremendous. Uh, here we have the presidents of uh, the neighboring countries of North Macedonia on the right, Kosovo on the left, uh, our great patron, the Keith Best of Albania, President Moisiu, uh, the former president there to the left. It, it was a really tremendous summit. And in Albania and in the Balkans, you know, the war finished 20 years ago, but the peace has not come. In fact, many families still are mourning for wives and mothers and daughters who were raped, sons who were kidnapped and killed. And, and how is peace going to come without reconciliation, without repentance, without forgiveness? So Mother Moon launched this initiative, the Balkan Peace Initiative there. And um, this is the signing of the Tirana Peace dele Delegation. There was a youth rally. Of course, the, the work of young people is very important. I want to recognize the Young Achievers Program here in Britain, which I know there are several graduates. Uh, thank you and another project called the Balkan Peace Road, which brings young people across the borders to meet in the cities of countries that their parents think are the enemy, and to realize, of course, that the young people throughout the region are looking for peace. So this was our summit. It had great media coverage uh, throughout the Balkans, really tremendous. And uh, you might ask, OK, well, what has this got to do with us here in Great Britain? And the truth is, we're going to do one here. So uh, just earlier today in Johannesburg, uh, Mother Moon was speaking before a crowd of 100,000 people in the FNB Stadium in Soweto. Just this morning, the internet was very bad, so we didn't see much of it. Uh, and then at the end of this year, we have the Peace Starts With Me rally in New York. Uh, this is a great interfaith and gospel rally. Uh, there's a 2,000 voice choir, uh, some of the leading religious le leaders of America, Bishop Noel Jones there, you see. And we're going to have the UK Summit and Family Festival here wow. in Great Britain. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're applauding because, frankly, we need a lot of help to put on an event of that kind of scale. And I know there's a lot of people here from Birmingham, and you're probably wondering, why is there a picture of London? Yes. Well, it's not decided where the host city will be yet. Uh, but I would like it to be in Birmingham, just in case. Um, to, I'll be honest with you, most of the main details have yet to be decided. Uh, the theme, the invited guests, the lead partners. Uh, but I do know one thing. Um, this is the centenary year of Father Moon. It's 100 years since his birth in 2020. I think it would be great yes. to celebrate that uh, by promoting the peace message right here in the United Kingdom. You know, I met with Mother Moon a little while ago. And she told me, I believe the United Kingdom should be the leading nation for peace. Exactly. It's too long, it's been quiet. So go there and get ready, because we're going to make a great effort for peace in 2020. We need your help, we need your participation, and I'm really excited to see a great success. So thank you very much. I see the food has arrived. That's my sign.